Hey, hey, hey. Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, last week I did a video on a spring cutoff tool that worked really well. And, uh, well, I made another one and it didn't work. It's the craziest thing. And anyway, uh, I can't figure out why it didn't work, but I've designed a new one and it's way easier to build. Uh, and I've got, I'll post the plans here. Uh, we're gonna build another one today. And uh, hopefully the second, <laughs> the second one I build works. Uh, let me show you what I got here. Here's the two I made. This is the first one I made. And uh, after the video, I, I installed these two screws because I was worried about my weld. And you can see the weld right there. Uh, I milled a lot of it off, so I was worried about strength. Uh, but this still works good. Works great. So I made another one. And instead of welding it there, I cut a little... Uh, in woodworking, I'd call it a dado. It's just a little slot for that half inch square to sit in. And then I bolted it on. And believe it or not, that's a press fit. It fits tight in there. But otherwise, there may be some slight discrepancies between the two. But this one chatters like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it's like it makes the chatter worse. I, I also tried this one here. I welded it and I thought maybe this bar in here was creating some friction on this moving part. So, I mean that everything could have warped where it's putting a lot of pressure on that. So I, I put some bolts in there to kind of uh, dampen the vibration or whatever and ah, it didn't work. So anyway, new approach. Easier design, much better working tool, hopefully more reliable. Okay, here's the new tool. Let me uh, show you a little bit about it. I mounted it to a AXA tool holder. Took all the bolts out of it and used two of the holes and, and bolted it onto the top of it. And it works great. Welded it right there. Easy weld. And uh, it's thinner stock, 3 8 and this distance here is about the same so that kind of makes it easier to flex oh and I uh, put a five degree angle on it which gives it uh, the same effect as back rake but it works good I'll show you what I mean hey before we go any further uh, watch this video all the way to the end there's a little surprise at the end Okay, let's see what this will do. Uh, makes a little bit of noise, but probably what you're hearing is my, my gears. I've got some worn gears, and I tried to make one. It didn't work out too good. Anyway, here we go. I'd call that pretty successful, wouldn't you? Nice little convenient chips. Anyway, let's get on to building this thing. Okay, right there is what we need to build this thing. An extra AXA tool holder. I only use part of that, about an eighth inch, a little over. A uh, piece of inch and a quarter by half. I think it's three and a quarter long, three and a half long. This one's three and a quarter, three eighths by uh, inch and a half. Uh, I used cold roll or uh, hot rolled steel, and I milled the edge of it to size. Uh, I would recommend cold roll; just be a whole lot easier to deal with. I just didn't have any, so we're going to make piece A first. Piece A is the piece that bolts on top of the tool holder. Uh, it's just got a couple of holes in it.
Yeah, it fits. Good deal. Over here, this piece will be welded right there, like that. So we're going to take and put a mark right there, and we're going to grind a bevel right there. That will be for weld penetration right there, that, and then we'll be done with this piece. This piece will be welded on that just like that. But it'll be at a five degree angle, so we need to mark that five degrees right here. Just go about an eighth inch down. Inscribe a line at five degrees. When I weld that, it'll give me a reference for my angle. Now we're going to mill this piece. Okay, I've got my mill set up where, and, and my DRO's uh, set up where this is zero. This corner right here is zero. So I'm going to locate these two holes, one for the half inch and one for this quarter inch right here. So I need to go 625 this way. There we go. And 600 thousandths this way. There we go. Now I've got to go to 0.435 this way and going this way I need to be 2.875 2.875 right there okay I'm gonna Drill those on the drill press later. Now we need to cut this quarter inch slot to a depth of 0.135. Put the quarter inch mill in there. Okay. The edge of this slot needs to be 2.05 down from the top. But I'm using a quarter inch mill so I, I take half of that diameter and add it to that. It's quarter inch, half of it's an eighth inch and then you add it to it and you, I gotta move it 2.175. 2.175, there we are right there. Lock my table. What I'm gonna do here is touch off. When I see that mill touching the surface, I'll reset my down, I guess, Z-axis DRO. Okay, I'm touching right there. Okay, I've reset my DRO. Now I need to go uh, 135 down. Okay, I've got my half-inch end mill in place. Now I've got to go mill that to the, this width slot right here. And I could go by the measurement, but it's got to be a super good fit. So I'm just going to mill to the right depth and then just keep going a little further uh, until I get it. The first thing we need to do is touch off and then go uh, 93 thousandths in depth. This is probably the most critical part of the whole tool. Blade's got to be a good fit. Okay, 
Okay, there's zero. And I need to go 93. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just wasting away part of it. Need to mill to that wide right there. I got a ways to go. Okay, I'm getting close. I'm gonna go one or two thousandths at a time. Very close. That actually forces in there. That's it. If, when I wire brush that, it will open it up a little bit. So the washer will set in there. And it needs to be lower than the blade thickness by just a, a couple of thousands. Go just a hair deeper. If you go too deep, you lose your ledge for the blade to sit on. Okay, I want 25 thousands. It's fitting good now. Good. This is just a uh, clearance anyway, depth wise. This way it's got to be pretty close. Good deal. All we got to do is drill the holes. Okay, that's a pilot hole for or a uh, hole for a quarter 20 tap Now we need to make that bandsaw cut right there. It's probably not necessary, but I'm going to make two bandsaw cut, cuts to give us some extra clearance. That's what I did on the last one. Probably one bandsaw cut is plenty, but so I'm very slightly off center and then I'll make the second one off center the other way, just eyeballing it. Okay, next step is to clamp that. Use that scribe we made as a reference. Line it up with the edge of this right there. Five degree line. Remember we made that chamfer there. and just run a beetle weld on there and on my tool I ground that off right there partly to get rid of my ugly weld but it also gives it more of a a neat appearance let's fix this ugly weld <laughs> Yeah, now we got to make this piece, but I already made it. I made that when I made my other one. 
knowing that I would make another uh, cutoff tool for this video. Uh, that's a quarter twenty hole there and two clearance holes that are the same as that. Those matter to the AXA holder. So the next step, and that, that gives you a, your height adjustment. The next step is that washer right there. And the plans call for a 700 thousandths uh, diameter washer, but I'm going to go for a full three quarter because I had a 7 eighths mill to mill that hole right there, or that recess. So that's what we're going to make now. Okay, that's just a quarter inch clearance hole. Okay, now take the cutoff tool that you just made and use it to cut the washer off. I'm just kidding. You could cut this off with a saw. Cutoff tool is ideal though. If you got another method of cutting it off. This will be about an eighth inch deep just so that it's the same as that countersink in there. I'm going to verify that that blade sits level in there. i got to file a little bit more on there because that blade's not seating all the way close, so. Let's try the new holder. Something I've found on these is you got to set the height very slightly above center because it flexes down. Okay, let's give it a try. I think I had it a little, yeah, I had it a little bit high. So it was kind of struggling to cut that last little bit. I'd say that did pretty good. That was three quarter inch bar. Let's do a one inch, see how that works. A little bit of chatter right there at the beginning. I don't think that's anything to worry about though. Lots of oil. Always good to have lots of oil. That's one reason to cut off slowly is you don't sling oil everywhere. like low RPM. There we go. Let's try a faster feed rate. It's 
So that did pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like it, I like it. Which brings me to another uh, topic altogether. Well, thanks for watching. That about wraps it up. Uh, remember I said there would be a surprise toward the end of the video? Well, probably no surprise here, but these plans are available in the link in the description area underneath the video. So be sure and check them out. They're free, of course. And uh, the surprise is I'm going to give that away. If you live in the USA, uh, send me an email. The address is underneath the video in the description area. Uh, send me an email and put I like it in the subject field. If it doesn't have I like it, you're disqualified. And, uh, anyway, uh, I'll take your name and put it in a hat and do a drawing. And if, if you win, I'll notify you that you won and mail it to you. Anyway, that about wraps it up and thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.